Hi, my name is Sonia. I'm the founder and CEO of Meowtel, and we're thrilled that you decided to join our sitter community so we can help every cat and cat parent live their best life. In this video, I'll walk you through all the key steps in the Meowtel reservation process, and then afterwards, you may have the opportunity to meet with a Meowtel team member who will guide you through the rest of the onboarding process, including making sure you're properly set up to have the best chance of getting reservation requests right away. So let's get started. As a sitter, the Meowtel mobile app will be the most important tool you use to manage and grow your cat sitting business. To get yourself set up, you always want to start with your calendar and sitter availability to make sure the dates you opened up are accurate and you can actually cat sit on those days. The second and third most important items after your availability are going to be your kitty medication experience and your travel radius, which includes how far you're willing to commute to visit your kitty clients. And let's talk about communication. Quick communication is critical for our cat parents. What we have found is that if they send you a message or a reservation request and they don't hear back within about two hours, they're going to cancel their request with you and book another sitter on Meowtel who is more responsive. So make sure you have the mobile app on your phone with push notifications turned on. For any reservation requests you get from us, you'll also get a text message. And then to do triple duty, just so you don't miss anything, we'll also send you an email from bellhop at meowtel.com that shows you your reservation request. So just make sure any email from us doesn't end up in your spam or junk folder so you don't miss anything important. When you confirm your reservation requests, start chatting with the client through the mobile app to coordinate a day and time that works for the both of you for the meet and greet. Meet and greets are an essential part to build trust. It's where you go over and meet the client, you'll meet their kitties, you'll cover logistics, and also make sure you get a copy of the key at the meet and greet. Sometimes clients hand over the wrong keys, not realizing it's their neighbor's key or even a car key, and then the sitter is locked out either for the first visit or the entire reservation. So always test the keys at the meet and greet to make sure they're the right ones so you're not gonna be locked out. And I have two important reminders for you about meet and greets. One, Never go to a meet and greet until the client has actually sent you the reservation request because until they do, you have no information on this person. So advise the client for your own privacy and safety that it's Meowtel policy that if they want 30 minutes of your time in the free meet and greet, they need to send you the reservation request. That way you have more information on them and you know their intent is serious because they prepaid upfront through Meowtel and you won't be walking into the meeting blindly, which is never fun. And the second reminder about meet and greets is due to the pandemic, you are more than welcome to set up a virtual meet and greet via FaceTime or Zoom, especially if the client has keyless entry, such as a keypad or a digital smart lock. Now, let's talk about keys. Whenever you get a client's key, make sure you safely secure it to your personal key ring or a designated client key ring. Time and time again, we have new sitters who take the key and they put it in their pocket or they put it in their purse. And then they're shocked when they lose the key and they're upset because they have to pay for the locksmith. So always safely secure your client's keys to your personal key ring so they don't go missing. Grab a cup of tea. And let's keep going because I have some very important details to share about what happens during the reservation. The service expectation for your drop-in visits is that you spend the minimum amount of time listed and booked on the reservation. So whether that's 20 minutes or whether that's 45 minutes, that's the minimum amount of time you have to stay in the client's home, keeping the kitties company. And the reason this is so important is over 90% of our customers have in-home cameras. So with that being said, make sure you're there for the full duration of the visit, engaging with the kitties, Make sure they're demonstrating professional demeanor in their home. And also remember, these cameras have audio recording as well. So if you're gonna take a phone call or talk to the cats like I do, oh, Chris, you're so cute. Just make sure you're not saying anything disrespectful about the cats, the client, or even their home. I know that sounds silly, but these are real life complaints that get escalated to us because sitters forget. They're constantly being watched and they're being listened to. So smile, you're being recorded. And along those same lines, you are the only person authorized to go in and out of the client's home. In the past, we've had Meowtel sitters bring over their partners or family members, and I'm sure these people are great, but they haven't been background checked nor are they insured. So they're not authorized to be in the client's home. So just make sure all friends, family members, partners, even other kitties, stay outside while you go in and do your visits. And for the sitters that offer overnights, you can treat this service type in two veins. 
The first way is to do the minimum, which is going to be at least 12 hours overnight in the client's home. So whether you make that an 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. visit or a 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. overnight, just make sure you're there for a good dinner time and evening playtime, stay the night and have a snuggle party, and then the next morning do breakfast time and morning playtime. Otherwise, if you have a super flexible schedule, you can treat overnights more like an Airbnb situation where you're moving into the client's home for the duration of the reservation and anytime you're not out at work or running errands, you're at the client's home keeping the kitties company or even working from home. So see what works best for your schedule and make sure you communicate any schedule constraints to the client because a lot of the times with overnights, they are looking for a 24 seven live in cat nanny. As you build your clientele on Meowtel, you'll start to notice just how specific cat parents are with what you can and cannot do with their kitties. If for some reason you want to bring over a new treat or a new toy, just message the cat parent first through the Meowtel app to make sure they're okay with it. We keep hearing more and more cases of things we take for granted in cats, such as chicken allergies or fish allergies. We've even heard of a laser pointer sending a cat to the ER. And these are situations we never want our sitters to be in. So always do your diligence and check with the cat parent first if you're gonna introduce a new toy or a new treat to make sure you're not gonna aggravate any underlying condition that they forgot to tell you about. And then if you ever go to a meet and greet and the client asks you to let their kitties outdoors at any point during the reservation, at that point, you're gonna politely tell them, nope, sorry, it's meow tell policy that all kitties must stay indoors during the reservation. In most of the cities where meow tell operates, there's traffic, there's predators, there's extreme weather, and there's even natural disasters like fires. It's just not worth the risk. So tell the client that all kitties are gonna stay inside for the duration of the reservation. And if the client has any issues with that, please have them call us and we'll happily educate them on the importance of indoor only kitties. And then last but not least is communication with the client. I can't stress enough how important it is to over communicate everything that you're doing during each visit. It is mandatory to send at least one text update and one photo or video every single time you stop in. Even for your twice a days and for your overnights, the client will expect a morning and an evening update. For my clients, I usually send a before and after photo of the clean litter box. I send a before and after photo of the food and water bowls. And I like to send lots of playtime photos and even snuggle photos or videos if that's what the kitties like to do with me. And because clients can tip you through the app and sitters keep 100% of the tips, we see a very strong correlation between sitters who earn the most tips. Those are also the sitters who send the most photos and videos during their updates. So just channel your crazy cat person self and bombard the client with updates because we've never had a client complain about too many updates, but we've certainly had clients complain about not enough updates. So just keep that in mind. To wrap up the reservation, we have our two-way review process. When a client reviews you, they have the option to leave both public and private feedback. Private feedback is only visible to you and typically as another compliment or thank you, but it also might contain some constructive feedback, such as to please clean the water bowl a little bit better next time. And for the key handoff, it's really up to you and the client how you want to coordinate this. Whether you want to leave the key with a doorman, put it under a mat, put it in a lockbox or do a physical drop off once the client returns, that is up to you. We always stay out of key logistics. I have two final reminders for you. The first one is to keep everything on Meowtel. What I mean by that, always have your Meowtel clients book you through the app. That way you're fully insured, they're insured, and if anything goes wrong, we can step in to help you out. For example, we've had sitters accidentally damage valuables in clients' homes, and when that happens, you just need to send us the documentation and we'll get everything fully reimbursed. That's one of the key benefits of being a Meowtel sitter is that we're here in the event of an emergency or an accident. The second reminder is if we have any suspicion that you're taking clients offline and bypassing Meowtel and asking clients to pay you in cash or Venmo or some other payment method, we will dismiss you from our community because it breaks the trust we're trying to build nationwide for all cat parents who have historically been very underserved because we live in a dog's world. And hopefully you read up on the 60 day new sitter trial period, which we have in place just to make sure it's a great fit between both parties. We have four very simple requests of our sitters. The first one is to log in once every 30 days to remain active and visible in search results. The second is to respond to all requests within 12 hours or else they auto cancel. 
The third, if you decline a client, just chat with them and give them a reason why you had to decline. And then the fourth reminder is if at any point a customer escalates a complaint to us during your first 60 days and we rule in favor of the customer, we will terminate your sitter account. So with that, best of luck on your video quiz and my team and I look forward to meeting you in a couple of days. Should you have any questions in the meantime, please don't hesitate to text or call 1-844-MEOWTEL. We wish you the best of luck and we look forward to speaking with you soon.